Well, it looks like the Tea Party movement has failed. And I say that because what we've seen in the past five primary states for the Republican nomination, um, it looks like, according to all of the exit polls, people who consider themselves to be, you know, very conservative or uh, Tea Party members or whatever, they decided to go for establishment shills like Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich. Which is ironic because two years ago, during the 2010 congressional primaries, those same people were voting against those type of Republicans um, in favor of more constitutional conservatives. So uh, the Tea Party has failed, and it looks like, you know, and I'm saying this as a Paul supporter, but unfortunately, the fix is in. I think we already know by now that it's going to be freaking Mitt Romney. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it hasn't happened yet. Of course, he has to reach like over 1,100 delegates or something, and he's only got like less than 100. Um, and Ron Paul, I think by the end of this thing in June, will have probably between 100 to 200 delegates total. He'll go all the way to the convention in Tampa, Florida, and, um, you know, try, try to get a speaking spot, try to cause uh, a bit of ruckus, hopefully. I want to see that. Uh, but the Republican Party is just finished. Look. If Romney's the nominee, which is inevitable, I think, the, like I said, the fix is in. Obama is easily reelected. Okay, um, I just there's no enthusiasm for Romney. Okay, you want to know what a Romney versus Obama debate is going to look like? All you have to do is go to YouTube, type you know, go to the search bar, type in Obama McCain debate, and uh, watch one of those from four years ago, and it'll be the same exact thing in uh, this fall what you'll see on TV, the same exact thing. Mainline Republican crap, neocon foreign policy, uh, just, you know, antsing around like, oh yeah, yeah, we gotta do something about the budget and uh, the economy. <laughs> you know, Romney, that's all you can do. I, I was a businessman and, and, you know, let me tell you something right now. I have my experience in the private sector and, you know, when I was a governor, I did suck, but you know what? I was in the private sector and look, a President Romney, really, Obama versus Romney this election will be Obama versus Obama light, basically. Okay? Even if Romney somehow wins the general election against Obama, do you really think he's going to do anything? No. No, he's not going to tackle any major issue. We're going to continue on the road down to hell. Well, I shouldn't say that, but down to the road to uh, total uh, downgrading of this nation. This nation will be downgraded in the sense that we're still going to have a national debt that's going to continue to skyrocket. The economy is not going to get any better. Um, you know, I love how they come out with the unemployment rate yesterday saying, oh, look, it's dropped. Well, yeah, that's probably because a lot of people have stopped looking for work. They're like, well, we surrender. We can't find jobs. Count us out. You know, we're done. We're not going to be looking for work. So when you really look into the raw data in this, it's not like unemployment really is going down. You just have people who are not going out really looking for work anymore. They've, they've given up, basically. So um, I don't really think unemployment's dropping. I don't buy it. Um, but look, who's going to win the election, honestly, between Obama and Romney? It's Obama. You really, people are going to vote for Romney. Romney is John McCain. Romney is Bob Dole. Meaning, he's the guy with the pretty face who goes up. The Republicans know they don't have a chance, but they, they go for him anyway. And then Obama wins. Okay? Um, that's all I have to say. So, yeah, the Tea Party failed because you have many of these so-called Tea Party members voting for the likes of Romney and Gingrich in these primaries. A total joke. The only guy who has a snowball's chance in hell of going up against Obama and actually defeating him is Ron Paul. And I say this because he can attract the independent voters. He gets the young people out to vote for him. He can get disgruntled Democrats, possibly some disgruntled liberals to come over and vote for him. Because Obama has proven himself to not be who he promised to be. As this election nears, I can tell you this for sure, I do believe there is going to be a third party candidate that's going to arise. It's going to happen late this summer, um, and that is going to be Gary Johnson, who is running for the Libertarian nomination. No doubt he'll get it. 
I haven't heard of anybody else running for that nomination. He'll get it. And typically, the Libertarian gets probably about 500,000 votes in a general election. He's going to get probably about 10 to 15 percent support in the polls nationwide, mainly because Ron Paul supporters aren't going to be voting for Romney or Obama. So they're going to back somebody like Gary Johnson. And then Gary Johnson is then propelled. He'll start getting campaign donations. He'll get the poll numbers coming in 10, 10 to 15% in the uh, national polls. So then he has to somehow get into the national debates that take place in October. So then he'll go to the debates. He'll then gain more support from the people because they look at Romney, they look at Obama, they don't see much of a difference. They want something new. They want real promises. They want to see a fresh face. They look at Gary Johnson who will be in that on that podium right in the center stage right between those two candidates and they'll say this guy actually makes sense you know anybody who's a conservative or a liberal independent moderate whatever they're going to like this guy because they're going to find themselves in agreement whether it be with his social issues that's something for the left or his foreign policy which i think can resonate on both sides economic issues definitely going to resonate with the right um, and independents all around will be liking all sorts of his positions. So he is somebody to look for. Right now, you don't hear much about him. It's very quiet because all the focus is on the GOP nomination. I love Ron Paul. I really do. I know he's going to win a lot of delegates throughout this entire process. He's going to go all the way to, to the convention, get his message through. That's what he's done is get his message through. He's done a good job of it. And you know what? His son has some great prospects in the future. I think his family could be a rising political family in the country. Um, he's inspired hundreds of people across the nation to run for office, and whether it be in the state, the state houses or uh, in the U.S. Congress. And we see them there already. So don't give up hope now. I think we have our chance to get some really good people into office. I wouldn't count this election as a bad one. All I'm saying is if it was just strictly between Romney and Obama, it's Obama's got it. Romney does not have a chance to win. He's another fall guy. He's another McCain, another Bob Dole, that kind of candidate. Um, and yes, the Tea Party has essentially failed on their message of being principled on their conservative beliefs, but at the same time, they ditch those principles to go for somebody who when in office, they never abided by them. Sorry. All right. Thanks for watching. That was just my take on it.